the sixth question we have sin x into sin 2x into sin 3x okay and how do we handle this one so sin x sin 2x sin 3x will tell me that we need to write the products of sin a into sin a into sin b as sum or difference of 2 cosine or sin right so product of trigonometric ratios into sum or difference of trigonometric ratios is the identity that transformation is required I have two signs, right? I have three signs actually. I'll combine any two signs with the help of this result. Two sine A sine B is equal to cos of A minus B first minus cos of A plus B. This is the result that we have. Cos of A minus B is actually equal to cos A cos B plus sin A sin B. This is cos A cos B minus sin A sin B. Subtracting them will give me two sin A sin B. Right. This is what you get. That is the result that we borrowed from trigonometry and now we'll use that result for this. I equals integral of sin x sin 3x. Let's bring them together. Sin 2x can remain outside, separate. Okay. And I'll combine these two. So what will that give me? Integral of that sin 2x will remain as it is. In the bracket, I'll have sin a sin b First of all, I'll have a half, okay. This two will go in the denominator, half of this whole expression, which is cos of difference of these two. Now, difference of these two, yes. Why I'm saying difference of these two? Because cos A minus B, B minus A will not make a difference. Right? Similarly, A and B can be interchanged between X and 3X. So, minus X or X minus 3X will give me basically cos of 2X or cos of minus 2X. Once again, cos minus theta is equal to cos theta. So this is what you get, right? Cos 2x minus cos sum of these two, which is 4x. This is what I have. Yes, times dx. That seems okay. Yes. Next, this half will come outside the integral sign. And what do we have? We have sin 2x into cos 2x. Minus you have sin 2x into cos 4x dx and when I observe this expression sin a cos b I recall another trigonometric identity something similar to this transformation once I recall this this is sin a cos a actually right so let's use those ideas 2 sin a cos a if these are same then this becomes sin of 2a simply this right or not Whereas if you have 2 sin A cos B, this is equal to sin of A plus B plus sin of A minus B. So using these two identities, now using these two identities, I'll simplify these two expressions over here, this integral over here. Half is okay. Integral of sin A cos A, that is, 2 sin a cos a will be equal to sin 2a. This becomes half of sin 4x. And this can be integrated easily, right? What about this one? Sin a cos b. Sin a cos b will be again half times something. So what do we have? We have minus half times something in the bracket. And what will that bracket have? Sin of a plus b, which is sum of these two, minus, sorry, Actually, you have a plus sine of A minus B. Now, A is the angle that is there with sine. B is the angle that is there with cosine. We cannot interchange them, mind you. Right? And therefore, lies the difference. So, A minus B will be 2x minus 4x. That is minus 2x. And sine of minus 2x is what I will be getting over here. Yes. Okay. This is first term. Minus half times the second term. And there's a curly bracket, the bracket will end over here. This is dx. That's the complete expression that we have. Right. And sine of minus 2x will be equal to minus of sine 2x. That's something that we know. So I'll bring this half and this half outside. What I'll get is 1 by 4 on the outside. In the integral, within the integral, I'll get sine 4x minus sine 6x. This minus will go over here, and this minus will make it plus sine 2x this is what I get okay 
So up till now, what have you done? You have simply converted this into 1 by 4 times this expression. This is all trigonometry. Now comes the turn of integration. Now comes the turn of integration. So integration is not difficult, right? Converting this given expression and realize into integrable form. First of all, realizing that this cannot be integrated directly with the formula that we know. And once we use trigonometric identities to convert into integrable form, after that integration is not difficult, right? So therefore, I will be equal to 1 by 4 is waiting outside. Okay, let it wait. In the integral, you have sin 4x. The integral will be equal to minus of cos 4x and you have to divide by this 4, right? Sin 6x. So that will be minus of cos 6x. So that becomes plus cos 6x upon 6. Then you have sin 2x which becomes minus of cos 2x upon 6. 2 plus a constant of integration that seems like the final answer yes at max what you can do is you can multiply this 4 inside or you can leave the answer at this stage what you get is 1 by 24 cos 6x minus 1 by 16 cos 4x and minus 1 by 8 cos 2x plus constant this is the form of answer or this is another form of the answer if the answer this stage or this stage that's all in the sixth question over here.